guys, it's Jim Bruce with RPM Dynamics. This video is going to deal with inserting effects on channels and more importantly, some of the cool effects this console has. For those of you that are into the Wave C6, Midas now has an M6, which is basically an emulation on this console built in. So now you have multi-band comp on this console. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to go into a channel here and what I've got is a loop running of a bass channel and I've just got that because I can't play songs or YouTube or Facebook will turn stuff off. So you find a generic loop and make the best of it. So what I've got going on here is I'm going to take a bass channel and I've got a bass playing a simple standard riff that we're listening to on a loop. This loop is just playing this one loop. So what I'm going to go is I'm going to go to my bass channel here and I'm going to go into channel view of this of the console this view opens up this big window right here of just the base channel and whether I want to go to configuration EQ gate comp sends or the effects for insert on here I can choose any of that so I'm going to choose this effects chain first thing I'm going to show you here is if we go to add here I can go to the effects rack here and we'll go to dynamics This is the effect that pretty much everyone's been waiting for on here because as simple as it is, it's a great tool to have on your console. The Midas M6. Uh, we'll just do something stupid in here. We'll go into, I don't know, I'll go into a listen here and I'll take this up to say, I don't know, 160 area or somewhere like that, just to make an impression. And then we'll make a range here and I'm gonna crank this up to say eight or something, and then we'll go to a threshold here. And what we'll do is when I bring this down, and I take my listen off. What I've done is I've added low end through this M6 into an area where it's just you know audible that you can hear what's going on here. I can bring it back down. Inserts and cool effects. 